Welcome back to Dream Good, and today we're going to show you guys how to get started with your very first Twitch stream. So let's not waste any time, let's get straight into it. So before we get started, let's just go through the basic essentials we're going to need. So of course you're going to need a PC. Now a PC that's been built in the last 8 or so years is going to work just fine. I've used a first generation i5 processor and I was able to get just a basic looking 720p stream that is totally usable. Now, if you are running on a laptop, you may run into issues. So preferably you do want to use a desktop PC. The second thing you're going to need is a decent internet connection. So if you don't know how fast your internet is, use a website like speedtest.net. I'll leave a link for that. And what you're going to be looking for is you're going to press go and then it's going to run a few tests and it'll spit out two numbers. You'll have your download speed and your upload speed. Now we don't really care about the download speed, we only really care about the upload speed. And what you're looking for is something around at least four to five megabits per second. You can get away with slower than that, but if you want a smoother stream, obviously the faster the better. And the last thing you're gonna need is some software. So we're gonna be using OBS Studio today, but if you wanna use Streamlabs OBS or OBS Live, those will work just fine and it's gonna be more or less the same process. So first things first, we're gonna jump into obsproject.com and I'll leave a link for that as well. And you just wanna come in and click Windows or Mac or whatever you're on. If you're on a Mac, I don't know how to help you, I don't have a Mac, you'll have to deal with that on your own. But however else you install applications, just go ahead and choose what works for you. You can also go into download and click download zip and just unzip that, it's exactly the same thing. Now after that, you're gonna make a Twitch account now, if you're trying to stream on Twitch and you don't have a Twitch account, then God help you. But once you've done that, log in and then in the top right, you're going to see your username. Just click that and then you're going to go into dashboard. So on your dashboard, you're going to see all of these settings. But what we care about is we're going to go into channel and then on the top, we'll see primary stream key. So this key is going to be used to stream on your account. So if anyone sees this key, they can stream to your account. So don't show this to anyone. If someone accidentally does see your stream key, just click reset and you'll get a new key. The old one won't work anymore. So just copy that. We're going to use that for later. So now that we have OBS installed, open up OBS from wherever you have it. So just open it up. And when you first open it up, you're going to get this license agreement. Just click OK and it'll say you'll have an auto configuration wizard. Just skip this for now. You can run it if you want, but I'm gonna walk you through the settings because it's really important that you understand the basic settings for Twitch so you can tweak them later. So we're gonna click no. And if you wanna run that again later, just click tools and then auto configuration wizard. But we're gonna go into files and then settings. And I'm not gonna walk you through every single setting here. You can go through that yourself. They're pretty self-explanatory, but the settings that are most important are going to be in the stream, output, audio, and video tab. So we're going to go into the stream tab and you're going to select your service, which should already be on Twitch, but there's other services you can pick here. We're going to pick Twitch because that's what we are streaming on. And you just want to paste your stream key in here. That's all you need to do for this tab. Next, you want to go into output. So in output, we're going to change this into advanced. Now for your encoder, you basically have two options. You can use X264, which is software encoding, or you can use NVNC if you have an NVIDIA GPU. So the basic difference is X264, you'll get better quality, but it's going to be harder for your CPU to encode. NVNC, you'll get worse quality, but it'll be way easier for, the, for your CPU to encode. We're gonna use X264. Next, we're gonna set the rate control and we're gonna set it to CBR, which is constant bit rate. So basically the bit rate is gonna be whatever your upload speed was. So say your upload speed was four megabits per second. That's roughly 400, sorry, 4,000 kilobits per second. We're not gonna use all of that because you don't wanna saturate your entire network, but set that to maybe around 75% of your upload speed up to a maximum of 6,000 kilobits per second. We're gonna set this to 3,500 just as an example. And the next thing you're gonna look at is your CPU usage preset. We're not gonna change it, but just know that if you want better quality, you wanna set this to something slower. 
And if you want something that's going to be easier for your CPU to encode, use something faster. But most of the time, you don't really want to touch this at all. So we'll just leave it on very fast. Next thing you want to do is go to your audio. We're going to leave this mostly the same. So two things you want to look at are your desktop audio device. Most of the time, unless you've done something funky, just leave it on default. Second thing is your microphone, which you could also leave on default. But best thing to do to make sure it's using the microphone that you want is to select it and select your microphone, which for me is this one. And then the last tab is going to be the videos tab. So first thing we're going to change is the canvas resolution. Now the canvas resolution is the resolution of the canvas where you're going to put all your games, overlays, your webcam, everything that you're going to be adding to your stream on this black canvas. That's going to be the resolution for this top drop down box. Generally, you want to set that to the resolution of your monitor, but I set it to a maximum of 1920 by 1080, but whatever your monitor is will work just fine. Now the output resolution is going to be the resolution that your viewers watch your stream at, which in most cases is going to be something like 720p or 1080p. We're going to set it to 720p for now, but if you really want to go to 1080p, you can. Most people are going to set this to 720p. And then lastly, we're going to set our frame rate. So you can choose between 60 FPS or 30 FPS. If you want a smoother stream, but don't mind if it's a little bit more blurry, set it to 60 FPS. If you don't mind it being a little less smooth, but you want it to be crisper, set it to 30 FPS. We're gonna set ours to 60 FPS for now and just click OK. Okay, now here's where we add our game and our webcam. We're gonna start by adding the game. We're gonna right click, click add and display capture. Click OK and just here select your monitor which we're gonna select as default here. All right, next thing we're gonna do is add the webcam. So same thing, right click, add video capture device. Okay. And we're gonna select our webcam, which in our case is the C922. And here's my webcam, it's a little bit dark, but I know that the resolution for my webcam is 1080p, so we're gonna go to resolution, custom, and just set it to 1920 by 1080 and press OK. And then all you have to do is click in the corner, shrink it down and just put it in the corner and you have a basic layout going. And then from here, all we got to do is click start streaming and check our stream. So we're going to click start streaming and then in a few seconds our Twitch page, we should see our own stream. And there we go, we are live. I'm just gonna pause that right now. So if you guys have any more question, if you're confused about settings or you wanna know how to make layouts or anything like that, leave a comment, join the Discord, and I will see you guys next week.